Peace guys and welcome to a new video. Today we're watching an honest trailer. We're watching an honest trailer from House of the Dragons. I mean, I've already seen the entire show. If you haven't seen my reaction to that show, um, you can click in the info box. There you can see my entire playlist to the whole show or preferably you wait till after this video. Then you can start watching um, the House of the Dragons. Uh, my House of the Dragons reaction. Uh, this is channel Screen Junkies, who does do like honest rea honest trailers to shows and TV sh um, to shows and movies, and they're always like really fun. Um, and so I thought I'm gonna watch that since I already watched like the entire House of the Dragon series. That will be like a nice thing to like conclude the whole thing. I know it's been like a few weeks. I got done watching House of the Dragons, but I think it's not too late still. <laughs> so um, yeah. We're gonna watch that now and kind of conclude this whole thing um, till the next season comes out, of course. Um, so let's just jump straight into it. So yeah, lean back, kick your feet up, and let's go. A civil war between rival factions of goth albino sociopaths. <laughs> goth albino sociopaths. That only goes down because so many targs are named Aegon. Yeah, like the real problem in this show is that anyone's named Aegon. Like if you wouldn't name Aegon, like, if you wouldn't name anyone Aegon, uh, everyone Aegon, you wouldn't have problems. <laughs> Prince Damon, a fully armed and operational Joffrey. If you're accusing me of some depravity, you'll need to be more specific. <laughs> but it's a charming Joffrey. That's the, that's the difference. That the internet has a crush on anyway. Yeah, it's Matt, it's Matt Smith. We're okay, it's just, it's just Matt Smith. That, that, that's the, it's just the thing, it's Matt Smith. I'm sorry. Also, he's name, named Damon. And like, you know, if there's like a bad brother named Damon, everyone crushes on him. Vampire Diaries proves it. <laughs> Who just wants to hang out in his room and play with his artisanal minifigs. Oh, let's just let him do that. <laughs> he's not fit to rule anyways. <laughs> she said... He is your son, Cerys. Your blood. His last words to me and I was the only one to hear it. <laughs> yeah, true. She's sad the whole time. And if she isn't sad, then she's mean because she's sad. <laughs> but she really redeemed, kind of, re kind of redeemed herself in the last two episodes. Like she wasn't like the greatest person in the, in the world in the last two episodes. But I didn't disapprove of her actions in the last two episodes that much, because like you finally could see that, like she wasn't a bad person. She was just like a good person or normal person uh, put like with her back to the wall and didn't know what to do and manipulated by her father. <laughs> Yet still the most fragile white knight in the land. I hate this guy. Wee, 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 wee. That's, the scene was so disgusting and let, let, let me say that it was not disgusting because he was into her feet. I didn't care about that. What was disgusting was the whole interaction and the fact that like this even ha this interaction even happened. That was disgusting. And for a show that's more comfortable with dead moms and stillbirths. <laughs> They're like really comfortable with that. They like do it, show it like all the, the whole time. The episode's directed by Miguel Sapochnik. Impossible to see. Yeah, we had, again, we had an episode where you could see nothing. <laughs> nothing. <laughs> like you, I, I, I basically, like I didn't do the whole brightness thing with my computer because like I have no real idea how that works and also it doesn't help much anyways um but like I didn't even like I shouldn't have to do that <laughs> I shouldn't even have to do that like it was you could see nothing you could like see like black and sometimes there were like a flash of white hair and that's it <laughs> like for a while you could only hear stuff like it's it was more of like um an audiobook <laughs> than a movie or a TV show. Danny kind of forgot about the Iron Fleet. <laughs> we kind of forgot about the Iron Fleet. <laughs> You'll pay for this, Potter. Oh, uh, yeah, he's he, yeah, he's totally, totally Draco. <laughs> like, he totally reminds me of Draco. Only that I like liked, liked Draco a little bit like later on, like, especially the books. But like, he, he totally, he totally looked like Draco. He totally like reminded me of Draco. <laughs> Lucerus looking like a snack. A human spoiler alert. Yeah. The beast beneath the boards. Prophecies. <laughs> and there's a beast beneath the boards. 
Ooh, he said it. You were in so much trouble. Yeah, had us cut off by Damon. That was awesome. <laughs> and that was the honest trader to um, Hadi, House of the Dragon. <laughs> um, over here, you can now click on my reaction to the first episode of House of the Dragon if you haven't seen my reactions, and then just watch through the playlist. And um, over here, you will can see my most recent upload if you already seen House of the Dragon or you don't want to see my reaction to House of the Dragon. You can click over here. Okay, that was the video. I hope we will see you in the next one. Until then, bye guys. <laughs>